Hey guys, Jules here from Sprint Booster. Today, we're doing an install on this 2010 Subaru WRX STI. Importantly, the owner of this vehicle found the Sprint Booster V3 to be the perfect match for him. He goes to the track, so he does need a lot of different adjustability levels for his throttle body. But it's also his daily driver vehicle, so he needs his family to be able to access the car and not have it be a little too much for them. As always, the first step for installing the Sprint Booster is to allow the CAN bus system to reset. To do this, you simply open the driver's side door for about 10 minutes, take your key fob, walk 20 feet away, and let the CAN bus reset. For this particular platform, we noticed it's preferable to simply take the pedal assembly out. The best way to get this pedal out is by simply removing the two bolts holding the pedal in, which are 12 mil bolts. Simply loosen them up, remove them, and the unit slides right off. Next, you're going to want to remove the harness from the pedal assembly. This clip is operated by squeezing it or pressing downwards while you pull the clip off. Now that you've removed the harness, simply install the spring booster itself. Press until it clicks. Next, you'll have to install the Sprint Booster selector switch. After that, you install the harness back into the top of the Sprint Booster. Again, press until it clicks. With the Sprint Booster and the selector switch now completely installed, simply install the pedal itself back into the vehicle. Now, this particular STI is fairly modified. So the owner found the Sprint Booster V3 to be very important for two reasons, one being the pedal lock mode and the other being the valet mode. Pedal lock provides extra protection against unauthorized vehicle use, whereas valet mode limits the acceleration of the vehicle by 55, 65, and 75% respectively. So first up, let's try out pedal lock mode. In order to activate the pedal lock valet mode menu, the first thing you have to do is make sure the car is stationary and the pedal is not pressed. Go to off mode, make sure the LEDs are off. Press the two arrow buttons simultaneously for three seconds. When the dash appears in the LED display, that means you have entered menu. Once you're in the menu mode, press the left or the right arrow to select one of the two available modes, pedal lock mode or valet mode. We're going to select pedal lock mode. In order to select this, you press the main button to select. We're going to select pedal lock mode. Once it starts flashing, this allows you to enter the first number of your pin. After you select the number using the left and the right buttons, you press the main key to select the actual number. The second flashing number is, of course, the second number of the pin. As soon as you store the third digit on your pin, the L will blink on the LED display for 10 seconds. After this time, the L will stop blinking and will remain on. During the time the L is blinking, you have the option to cancel it by pressing any of the three buttons. If you do press any button during the time it's blinking, the lock will be canceled and the LED display will exit the menu. Once the L stops blinking, the acceleration can now only be enabled with three digit pin. Now that we've engaged the pedal lock mode using our three digit pin, the vehicle will be unable to accelerate using the pedal. To unlock it, the process is much the same. You press the three side buttons for three seconds until it begins to flash. And now we will enter in our three digit pin. The vehicle is now unlocked. So remember, pedal lock mode, when you try to press the gas pedal, nothing's gonna happen. Now remember, valet mode allows me to limit the acceleration by 55, 65, and 75%. Let's give it a go. Now for valet mode, the owner would like to set this car to a 65% acceleration reduction. So just like pedal lock, instead of the L, we're gonna use the selection screen to select the P for pedal lock. Level one limits acceleration by 55% level two by 65, and level three by 75. However, we're gonna select level two for 65. Remember, we do need to enter our three code pin, which we've already established. As soon as you store the third digit of the pin, the P will blink once and then will remain on the display. As you can see, the P is now on the screen. That means valet mode is now stored and the vehicle will run with limited acceleration. You can see which level has been selected by pressing the main selection button. As soon as you press the button, the number of the selected level will appear on the LED display. To deactivate valet mode, 
Press the two side buttons for three seconds. Now we need to enter in our pin once more. This is now unlocked. We've just installed the Sprint Booster V3 into this STI, so let's go find the owner and see how he likes it. Hey, I'm Tom, owner of the 2011 STI, and we're gonna be trying out the new Sprint Booster in the Subaru. I'm noticing uh, an intelligent mode with uh, the Sprint Booster on setting five. It's opened up the throttle response a lot more so than what it is normally in intelligent mode. Just switch the Sprint Booster over to setting nine and we're gonna see how it feels in intelligent mode as well. Oh yeah, I never get that kind of throttle response, especially in intelligent mode. That feels like I'm in uh, regular sport feels really good. Okay guys, that was the install of a Sprint Booster V3 on this 2010 Subaru STI. Remember, leave us a comment below. Let us know what vehicle you guys would like to see next. If you have any questions or comments for us, send us an email or visit us at SprintBoosterUSA.com.